ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of First 15 here on Pastiche of Skin. How's it going? It's good to see you all. We're checking out one of the games that are available I on the PlayStation I Plus for this month. It is Fury. So Fury is a action kind of like top-down arena fighter that um, pretty much just has you fighting from boss to boss as you work your way out of a frustrating and difficult jail cell led by a bunny rabbit headed character it's it's weird because this game feels like it what could be a spiritual successor to something like what would you call it what, what was that um afro samurai which had a really really horrible game series um both of them well the first one being particularly difficult the second one being particularly broken and this game kind of takes a little bit of their stylistic kind of choices of that and changes it into a, a much better game. And now, you're nothing. I will keep on killing you. Again and again. I am your future. And eternity is slow, painful death. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here with you. Shake your head. Nod your head. It's time to go. See what they did to you? Pull yourself together. Get out of prison. Fury just received a patch now on the 20th of July that um, essentially fixed a, a few of the problems that people were having with the actual gameplay, uh, especially as it is the really good weather that we have for once in the, in the UK. It um, was causing the PS4 to massively overheat and pump out or pump up the fans to the maximum speed. I don't know what it was that was actually causing this problem. It just seems to have been an issue with the game, which... Um, has been resolved so a lot of people that were actually avoiding playing this even though it's a free game for the month can actually jump in and try it now the game's entire experience can be really summed up in two statements it's a hack and slash tactical hack and slash boss rush game the only fights you fight having this are boss rushes, or just a boss one after another, working your way out of the jail. This is the first one, the jailer, who was obviously beating the crap out of you previously. You listen to me, and you listen good. You'll never escape. It's amazing that you can see the entire world in these steps below, each one of them having a representative boss. I swear I'll put you right back in your cell. There's an easy way, and a hard way, you choose. <laughs> Excellent choice.
Segments of the combat can actually turn to almost like a bold hell situation where you're dodging and attacking waves upon waves of bolts, just trying to find the, where the gap is in their defense. There's a pattern and a recognition to absolutely every single one of the bosses in this game, which will just, which can get frustrating, but once you learn it, you can tear through these guys so much faster. There's no way you can defeat me.
finally, upon delivering the killing blow against your opponent, you get another cutscene that links the two of you. So, well, sends you from to the next location that you have to actually go and murder a boss. And each of these guys, each of these bosses have a bizarre, creepy kind of like design and history to them. And yeah, it's it, it, it's unnerving to look at them. And I'm sure there's actually a deeper story to be had as you reach to the end of it. But I'm not going to spoil any more details than that. Guys, I highly recommend you check this out because Fury is a great game. It's um quick ac arcadey action. It won't. It, people are complaining about PlayStation Plus games being kind of indies that actually aren't really full AAA titles. I this is a this is a game that actually looks double A to me, but has a lot of really solid gameplay. I couldn't think of a better choice that they could have got on for it for this month because it, it's something that you can actually enjoy in a solo for a couple of hours yourself without having to actually worry about anybody else. Join in or co op or multiplayer or anything online. That. Stylistically, this game is off the charts. Uh, it's a really unique little style of gameplay. I highly recommend it, so go and check it out. So it's again, it's available now until the 1st of August, so you're starting to run out of time. If you haven't got it already, you really need to get yourself on PlayStation Plus. So, guys, until the next time I'm here, thank you very much for watching. This has been our first 15 minutes here on Pastiche of Skin. I love you, you love me, I hope. If you like what you saw today, make sure to hit a big massive slap across the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, the thumbs down button's right next. Remember to stick around and come back for another episode very, very soon. I will see you guys all in the next episode. So, bye bye